Our story begins in a small village on the edge of a kingdom. Bella lived in a small house with her father called Bakari. They did everything together. They ate together. They played together. They joked around together. Bella even helped out her father's work. Every so often, someone from the village would leave and go to work directly for the king. It was known as a great honour, but Bella always wondered what it is they did for the king and why they never came back. Bella decided to sneak into the castle and see what was going on. Bella couldn't not believe what she saw and rushed straight home to tell her father. Bella tried to warn him but he did not believe in magic or witchcraft and would not listen. She was alone. Bella was expecting her father to walk through the door but he didn't. A day had gone by and he had not returned. Bella started asking around. She even went to the castle to try and get answers, but she got nothing. The king heard she was asking around and he sent guards to tell her to stop. But this just made Bella more determined. She started visiting different villages and towers to find her father. Unknown to Bella, the king heard of this and sent someone to meet her at the next village. Hello? What are you doing? Stay back! Bella ran straight home. Putting on her dad's old hat gave her the courage she needed. She knew she had to go back and find him. But the king had another trap for her. What are you doing here? To stop you ruining my plans. What plans? I made a deal with a magician in a purple hat. All I had to do was give him subjects now and again. I'd be part of a new world order. I won't go without a fight. Or my father. Let's see. Not bad. Bring out the puppet. D Dad? He is my puppet now. Kill him or join him forever. Your choice. The story of Bella would be told over and over. She was known as... Bella the Vampire Hunter. 